Hey guys, it's Bulin. We're gonna do a quick unboxing of the Monster Hunter World Iceborne Master Edition box. Alright, so right off the bat, when we remove the plastic, we have the sleeve on the outside. It's a Master Edition Collector's Package. <laughs> oh, so right when you open it, you get the actual CD for the game. Here. Same as the Collector Edition yeah. for the Monster Hunter World. Right, yes, pretty much. It's the same. When you open it, you get the actual game. Plus it comes with a 7 day free trial for the PlayStation Plus, so that's actually pretty cool. So if you want to go ahead and get on playing online with your friends, you can just go ahead and get it. And apparently this one also comes with the Monster Hunter World. Hmm. So we have that. And then over here underneath the game, we have actually the, the code. The nice art artwork of the, the new armor sets and stuff, and the new Elder Dragon. I'm not allowed to show you guys in the back because actually the code there is going to give you some goodies and this stuff. Okay, so that's that. And then underneath that, we have the ba -ba Monster Hunter soundtrack, so just like the one. For the collector's edition as well, they have that. I'm just gonna put this to the side too. Oh, nothing much. Yeah, nothing the much. Back. Cool artwork though. Yes, it's really nicely done. Has a nice glacier look motif for the iceborne. All right. So underneath we actually have the metal plate. Let's see what it is. Oh, this one's quite heavy. It's got a nice heft to it. So over here, oh, there's some metal piece binding through this one. I'm not sure what this is. Comes along with that. And, oh my goodness. Wow, this is just nice. So here we have a bubble wrapping for it. Comes with a bit of string. And, okay, so we have the instructions on how to mount it. Uh, Monster Hunter Iceborne plate. So you can actually mount it two ways. So you can mount it like a um, picture frame, and another one is you can hang it on the wall. All right. Yep. So that's the instructions for them. Just put that over here. Okay. So let's see what we're dealing with over here. Okay. So we have what it seems to be like a semi-translucent piece of plastic. So good quality plastic to mount your plate in. I'm not sure why it's not as, as smooth as it seems. There's a bit of like I think scratches on it. I think there's a protective film on it. Yeah, yeah. So look. So, yeah. So you need to remove. There's two. Yeah, there's two. One on back. front and back. So once you remove it, it's transparent. Yeah, yeah. So okay, this is to protect the, the actual cover for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then over here, it's encased in, case in plastic. We have the Whoa. ice board. So Whoa. it shows the hunt. It's actually the same artwork as the one over here in the QR code, but it's um, laser engraved on this nice metal plate over here. It says here, Monster Un Hunter World Ice Board. Yeah. So I'm going to bring it closer to the cam with the help of the wooden. Look at that. Gorgeous. I think we should hang that somewhere, like get a really nice frame for it <laughs> in the future. Okay, so that's the one of the key items that are included in this um, collector's box. And over here, on the back, we have the art book. Hmm, that's gonna be a bit tough. Well, the figure came off first, so I think I'm just gonna pull out the figure first. Ah, whoa. I bet that's a lot bigger than the, the Nerigante one and the Monster Hunter World one. But, okay, let's get on to this one first, okay? 
So over here we have the box for the new Elder Dragon, which is being introduced for the Iceborne, which is called Velcana. Um, it just comes in this really nice clean white box with all the means Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Really nothing much around to say. There's nothing much around the box itself. It's just really plain. Alright, so let's just get into it. I'm gonna open it from here. The wraps up. So same as the Monster Hunter Electric Box. It comes in a blister. The clamshell type. And bam! Let's put that on Oof. Okay, so let's see. How do I get around? I'm just gonna take my scissors over here. I'm gonna cut it from the top. There we go. And over here we have the bell kind of figure. Oh wow. Is it heavy? Yes, it's quite heavy. Amazing. This is just so majestic. Okay, so <laughs> actually the, the wigs are so spiky it poked some holes into the plastic. So over here we have the Bell Kana figurine itself. So nicely painted, nicely sculpted. Quite heavy. Yeah, it is quite heavy, huh? Yeah. So sparkly. It's both sparkly and also some translucent parts, especially around the wing areas, the the nose part of the elder dragon itself, and the spire of ice. That's like just nice. It looks really good. Just as spiky as the other one too. Yeah, I, yeah. Probably I should bring that up later and then like do a side by side comparison shot. Alright, so finally over here we have the Monster Hunter World Iceborne art book. Um, we have this really nice hard book, a uh, hardback type of book with a nice, um, you know, embossment of the Elder Dragon itself. It goes all around the whole book, front and back. And then we have the nice logo right here in the middle. We really put a lot of details into here. We also have like the other upcoming monsters for the Ice War, like the Banbaro and the other stuff. Let's go take a quick peek at the contents of this book. Oops. So that's the artwork that was used on the on the plaque. And then over here we have the actual design of the Elder Dragon itself. Blade Master design and all the different weapons that it's going to be introduced into the game. That long sword looks amazing. Oh, the hammer too! Nice. And we have some of the returning monsters from the old world. This is this one is called Dario. And then who else is coming back? Ah, this is one of the newer ones uh, called Banbaro. Yeah, you get to fight this guy if you guys played the beta. This one was introduced in the older series. I think the first time I encountered this guy, uh, Nagakuga, is back in Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. This is going to be a challenge for um, the upcoming players from World because they've actually they've never actually encountered it before. So this is going to be a tough guy to deal with. I like the armor set, it looks very ninja like. Moving on. This guy, I forgot this guy's name. Beotodus, if I'm not mistaken. So, this is the one of the new monsters again that swims in the ice, kind of like a. Azantrios in Monster Hunter 4 U, but uh, really looks more like a Juratodos for the ice. Ah, this guy, the Tigrex or Tigrex, depending on whatever you want to call it. First introduced in the Mo Monster Hunter 2, Monster Hunter Freedom 2. That's the main, as the the main 
char um, main, monster. main monster over there. This one we have Zinogar, introduced in Monster Hunter 3, or try. That's a piece of cake. Yeah, this one's a piece of cake. But um, some people might not be used to it. It actually has a body structure like the Behemoth, if you guys played the event quest in Monster Hunter World. But this one is uh, Electric Type. They also came along with a deviant, no, not really a deviant, uh, subspecies called um, Stigan Zinogre, which is a dragon element. But I think they're just gonna be using the Thunder type in the Iceborne. And then we have Glavinus or Dinovaldo, if it was in the Japanese. And we have. Uh, what's this one? Brachidios. It was called Brachidios from Monster Hunter 3 U. Boom, boom, guys. Yeah, this is the boom. This is this guy's um weapon is actually really good because it uses um explosive type. Alright, moving on. So some of the other monsters as well that are coming back. We have like the popo. These are like the, the smaller um, animals over here. And this one is a uh, returning Ian Puku Garuga. Ian Garuga. So some of the other um, smaller animals you can see. There is penguin. I like this one. Like the ice dung beetle guy. <laughs> Excuse me. And some of the fish that are inhabiting the colder air. I've yet to see what the how the story developed into Iceborne, but I'm really excited to see how the story goes. So we have like the character designs. Oh, I like her design. That's the your handler. And then some of the other characters coming back. I honestly don't like that character. It's quite annoying. <laughs> Always getting into trouble. Over here, the muscular. The chef. And then this is for the one for the Iceborne. Oh, they have really good design this time for the Iceborne. I guess when you have more layers to it. Yeah, it looks more... To draw. Yeah. It looks a lot more finesse. Yes. Wow, I guess these were some of the new characters over here. Oh, I like the palito one. That's the, the stuff. Yeah. And that's the end. Hope you guys enjoyed that book. I think we didn't even show them. Yeah, we, we didn't get to show them the one time. for the la one last time. So guys, these are the contents for the um, Monster Hunter Iceborne Collector's Box. Mm, this one is Master Edition. Ah, uh, Master Edition. This one. Yep. Yeah. But yeah. How do you like it? Uh, I really like it. Um, I think just having this one, even just a the small plate. thing, yeah, the plate is just a really nice bonus. I, I wish they added that too with the, with the world. This, I think that would have been a nice addition to, to go along with you. Alright guys, so over here we have the two boxes. Um, we're just going to do a comparison for the contents for the Monster Hunter Iceborne Collector's Edition box. And so we have these side by side for the world and one for the Iceborne, which just recently was released here in Japan today at September 6th. Um, this is actually one of the more limited box editions that I got. From Amazon which is um, 41 out of 100 so I'm really psyched to get this delivered today for the release of the game so so with the box it actually came along with this keychain over here it's got the nice logo for the new Iceborne and that's the Elder Dragon um, Velcana <coughs> so this is a side-by-side -side comparison of the Monster Hunter World Collection Edition and the Monster Hunter World Iceborne Ice Master, Master Edition. Edition. As you can see, the Master Edition has a lot more. <laughs> yeah. 
whole lot more. Do you remember the price? Ah, well, for which one? For that, uh, like the Monster of the World. Okay, I have the receipt over here from the time that we got it. According to here, the price was, with the tax, 16,394 yen. Ah, uh, then I guess. Because this time it was 18,000 something. So I guess the extra 2,000 is, is for the metal plate and the keychain. But I like how you can like put it side by side. Like you have two elder dragons. Yeah, they're all look. Well, they are both very spiky. Yeah. <laughs> What's up with making spiky boys, huh? Alright guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. And leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Again, please check out the other unboxing that we did for the Monster Hunter World. We'll leave a link somewhere up there. Alright guys, that's it from us. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys next time. Thank you, bye! bye.